Hello everybody! In this training you are going to carry out the analysis of the transcriptome of the model organism Arabidopsis thaliana. The ultimate goal of this tutorial is the identification of potential elements belonging to the Brassinosteroids mediated gene regulator network. The tutorial is divided into blocks. In the first one, we'll explore the steps necessary to perform the analysis of microRNA transcripts. In the second block, which will be developed by Pafun Kumar by them, we'll carry out the analysis of the total transcripts, as well as the target identification. Let's start with introduction. As sessile organisms, the survival of plants under adverse environmental conditions depends, to a large extent, to their ability to perceive stress stimuli and respond appropriately to counteract the potentially damaging effects. Coordination of fit hormones and reactive oxygen species are considered a key element for enhancing stress resistance, allowing fine tuning of gene expression in response to environmental changes. These molecules constitute complex signal networks, endowing with the ability to respond to a variable natural environment. There is currently a broad consensus in classifying plant hormones into nine groups. Abscisic acid, auxins, cytokinins, ethylene, gibberellins, jasmonate, salicylic acid, stringolactones, and brassinosteroid. Within this lab group of phytormones, the one on which we are going to focus our analysis. Brassinosteroids are a group of plant steroid hormones essential for plant growth and development, as well as for controlling abiotic and biotic stress. Structurally, brassinosteroids are polyhydroxylated sterol derivatives with close similarity to plant hormones. Brassinosteroids have the ability to stimulate plant growth, influencing germination, rhizogenesis, flowering, senescence, abscissing, and ripening process. In addition, several experimental results have demonstrated their ability to confer resistance to several types of biotic and biotic stress, such as heat, cold, salinity, and drought. Since brassinosteroids control several important agronomic traits, such as stress tolerance, the study of gene regulatory network in which this hormone is involved have acquired great importance in the field of biotechnology, offering enormous potential for increasing crop yields. According to several studies, microRNA are one of the molecular mechanisms involved in the regulation of racinosteroid mediated urine expression networks. MicroRNA are 20 to 22 nucleotide small RNAs, characterized for regulating gene expression at port transcriptional level. MicroRNAs are distinguished from other small RNAs by being generated from precursor, harboring, and imperfect stem block structure. Unlike in animals, the preprocessing of plant microRNAs occur in the nucleus. The pre-microRNA are then exported to the cytoplasm after methylation, and then incorporated into the argonate-1 protein to form the Rix complex. The microRNA itself doesn't have the ability to cleave mRNAs or interfere with translation, but it plays a role in scanning the appropriate target. Four factors determine that the microRNA are considered master regulators. The first one is that multiple microRNA genes are regulated under given environmental conditions. The second one is that computational prediction estimates that each microRNA regulates hundreds of genes. The third factor is that the majority of plant microRNA regulate genes encoding for transcription factors. And the last one is that target genes include not only mRNA but also long non coding RNAs. Now, we'll introduce the experimental design on which the analysis is based. As mentioned above, we can divide the analysis into three stages. Differential expression of microRNAs, differential expression of mRNAs, and target identification. 
The starting hypothesis is that there should be sequence complementarity between upregulated microRNAs and downregulated mRNAs. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the differential expression of microRNAs. The result obtained will be used later for target identification using the TigerFinder tool. Now, we'll provide some details about the data and the tools. For the analysis, we'll use data generated by the Illumina Genome Analyzer 2x sequencing platform. MicroRNA was sequenced from three biological replicate samples of Arbidopsis thaliana in each of two conditions, control and epipiracinolite treated synthlins. In order to simplify the analysis, the biological replicates will be grouped in Galaxy into data collections. Collections allow to combine numerous datasets in a single entity that can be easily manipulated. In this part of the tutorial, we'll use six main tools, which can be divided into three categories quality assessment, micro RNA quantification, and differential expression. PathQC provides a simple way to do some quality control checks on raw sequence data coming from high throughput sequencing. MultiQC allows aggregate the results generated by FastQC across many samples into a single report. Tringalore is our wrapper tool around CubeAdapt and FastQC, which allow consistently to apply quality and adapt their trimming to FastQ files. To carry out the microRNA quantification, we'll use two modules belonging to the MirDeep tool, MirDeep Mapper and MirDeep Quantifier. Finally, we'll use DSEC2, a package for differential expression analysis of cone data based on negative binomial distribution. Now, let's start. 